Hey, thanks for clicking on the video. Now, I'm going to give a brief explanation on what a Nuzlocke is for those who aren't familiar. So, I got the rules down here. here. It's very simple and easy to understand. So, rule number one, if a Pokemon faints, it dies. So, if, if a Pokemon faints in battle, it is dead and is put in the box and is released permanently. You can't ever get it back. Rule number two. You can only get one encounter per area. So it's going to be a ton of different randomized encounters. I kind of showed that by putting a bunch of different Pokemon here. So if you find a Zigzagoon among seven legendaries, you're tough out of luck and that's all you get. And I got a couple of bonus rules I like to use. Uh, bonus rule number one, Deuce Claws. If I already have a uh, Zigzagoon, I can't get another Zigzagoon. Pretty simple. And I'll just pick a different Pokemon from from another area. Um, I don't use level caps. Mostly because I just don't know them. Be even even though I made the hack myself. It's just it's not that big a deal. If I'm ten level if I'm like five levels higher than, than the ace, it's not gonna be the end of the world. And um, I also have shiny claws, so if I encounter a shiny Pokemon, I will be available to use use it and cat catch it because it's a shiny. Hey guys. It shouldn't sound too bad, though. I'm probably gonna do is just cut out the entire boring intro of the game of oh, zooming. Uh, uh, let's see what he has. Yep, it's recording. Just gotta check. Alright, let's see what he has. So he's holding the Art Altarian Iron. Not that I can get much use out of it, so we're gonna have an Altaria. So, it's lonely about one point. So it's plus attack, boosting nature, minus defense. It's okay. Got scratch, yawn, X scissor. That's pretty. That's a pretty good start. It's got guts. All right. So a lot of Pokemon have been incredibly buff beyond proportion. So what I did was just slack off Regigigas. Archaeops, they all got, they're all fine, so I just put them back to where, back to where they are, into a just normal functioning Pokemon, and not a guy with defeatist. And what you should always do is save, just in case. Well, you don't know what's going to happen next. Though the Nuzlocke doesn't officially start until you collect your... Until you get some Pokeballs. That's, this helps with two things. Uh, one, if I encounter Reshiram and then it uses God Beam on me, then I die. Or two, um, I just lose Lazy Boy because... Because I blinked away for a second, and then Reshi ran. <laughs> Basically, it's just if I die right now, it's not going to be that big a deal. And it's just mostly for convenience. It's basic. All it is is really just for convenience. Nobody really wants to reset a run because they looked the looked away and how how pulled out a gun and shot your slack off to death. Like, what are you gonna do? He got a gun. <laughs> no. Anyways, this is our rival Hop. You guys know Hop from the legendary game Swish. Never mind. This is How. From listen. All right, now take take a guess. Which Pokemon is he going to pick? Is he going to pick Hepini? Or is he going to pick the legendary? 
be called what he called what he called it. I forgot his name. Cloyster. Good enough. Of course, Hop is a absolute genius and picks not either of those two. He moves beyond time and space to pick the stronger starter. So, I'm very certain that there is going to be some serious, like, cheater guys. Like, I know there's a competitively viable Murkrow somewhere that one guy has, and a Wallapet, and they're, like, super strong. I would say this is the hardest fight of the run, but... It's pretty easy as long as you don't fall asleep in the middle of the battle. So, all it is is you close your eyes and you just hit the A button until you win. Now, if I close my eyes and just hit the A button until I win, do you guys think I'll win? I actually have my eyes closed for this right now. Ugh. Also, I bet you guys noticed the slack off in the corner. He's been... He's been chilly. I paused the recording so I could get that thing out. But trust me, this is definitely the hardest uh, run... Uh, fight of the run. Is this single layer. Now here's the question. Will I win? The answer is yes, because I have a potion. The one thing Hop does not expect. Medical supplies. I mean, I would have won anyways, because you just use Growl. Oh yeah, I love the type charts changed. Uh, normal is super effective against Fairy now. Because they felt like Fairy was just too strong. And... Grass is now super effective against steel, because plants can grow over metal. They probably, Pokemon probably should have made the steel type into the metal type, because it just kind of makes more sense. You know, I might live stream this, like, at some point. If I ever get big enough, like, I get a hundred consistent views on these vids, I might live stream one. I'll definitely have to set up a time and a place. Six o'clock Eastern Standard Time in in June 2020-2024. Oh god, the heat death of the universe would have already occurred by then. I don't actually know when the heat death of the universe is actually set. Though I know it's definitely way past the, the time of when I said I would do it. Oh well, yeah, there will be like 30,000 generations of Pokemon released by then. People will have forgotten what a Pikachu is. There will be like 17 more Ash Ketching. So that way you go across regions and, and inter regions and all that very fast, and it's way more dynamic than just living outside of a laboratory. Because if you just live in a lab, take a train halfway across the world to the frickin' Alabaster Islands, then, yeah, there isn't much to do. Oh my goodness, is that a Cobmog? Oh no, and level 3 Spiro! What has this world come to where we pointlessly Torture small creatures for entertainment. I'm sorry, I had to unplug my computer. And there is a small baby who is going to die. 
a very, very gruesome death by slowly falling two feet a second into a river. At which point it will be hit by my critical hit arc hyper beam. Oh no! The strongest Pokemon ever. A freaking Litwick. If I didn't have Excessor, I would have been soft locked. And that's still horrible damage. It doesn't even know Ember yet? I'm not. Okay, it does. That's good. I'm gonna put it to sleep just. I'm gonna speed up this battle just ever so slightly. Uh, about like 300 times speed. Also, that burn is very convenient. Because now I'm dealing double damage. Minor error with recording software. Oh yeah, ab absolutely nothing just happened. What are you guys talking about? Yep. So, yeah, pretty much every single Pokemon has been buffed. And there's a solid chance we will see a fully, ev fully evolved Pokemon. Because unlike my test run, which used a different randomization. I wasn't able. Well, I was able to encounter a Gothitelle. Is, that's the full. T yeah, Gothitelle. Which wasn't that big of a deal. So yeah, solid chance I'll just get a fully evolved Pokemon. I'm thinking of ending in a, a fully evolved clause, or it's like if I find a fully evolved Pokemon, I can reroll. It's not gonna cause me to lose sleep at night if I don't go into the rival battle without being level 9 on the dot every single Pokemon. It's like, if you want to make level caps, make level caps. It doesn't really matter. Oh dang, I like Scratch. That's nice. Now I have... Oh no. What's that? Oh yeah, there's like... Eight different encounter tables? For like, every single route. They've got five reserved for water. Two reserved for... Fishing. Like... Well, for like just the regular wild encounters, and a lot of them are just repeats of each other. So that actually makes me think that all the grass styles have their own individual encounter table. Wait a minute, hold up! I gotta, I gotta do something very important. Anyways, back to the game. I had to add the glammy. I forgot to do that. This is essential to life, and if I don't add that glammy out, the, the world will end. Guaranteed. Or your money back. <sighs> I will denote where I think a different route is, and what I consider different routes or not. Like, uh, the upcoming thing ahead, it's like that path, pathway type of thing, that's a different route, in my opinion, because there's different encounters, though, uh, wait. like fishing, and then the land encounter, those are not different encounters. I also have duplicate claws. So if you so if ever encounter a re a repeat Pokemon, uh, 
I will just skip it and get a new one. If it's a dead Pokemon, I have to double skip it, which doesn't do anything. Though it just feels right. I'm just kidding. Anyways, that was probably the hardest battle we've done. That was not the hardest battle we fought. Alright, so I would consider this a different route. All because it has, like, different encounters and stuff. And, uh, the 100% guaranteed Pokeball is not 100% guaranteed here. Either I just got lucky or this is just a continuation of Route 1. Though I do count this as a separate place. Mostly so you can get the three Pokemon team. And you're on par with pretty much everybody else. Oh, it's Palisand's just cool. Look at him. That's not Palisand, that's Sandy Guess. Anyways, I'm going to call this guy Gabe. Because he's got a big hole for a mouth. It's got water compaction. And it's the first not normal type. These guys don't evolve into special... This special types, like this one is going to evolve into a normal bug type or something. These guys are just going to be both pure normal types. But now, I also have Palace uh, Sandy Gast. Minus seed nature, plus attack. It's kind of stubborn. Let's harden and absorb. This way. Even stab. Yeah, defense ones. Hit with water. But give me a second so I can just kind of quick. And back to it. Now I got a Sandy Cast uh, up there ish. So we can now have the full party. And be slightly interesting. No, I should probably train up gate. So what I will do is just put him in the front of the party. Just kind of switch around. Oh, we're going to start with this small child. This is not the specific small child we are targeting. God, that came out horribly. Point is, we gotta, we got to beat up people. As much as a pile of sand can get the job done, I'd prefer, to, like, I don't know, my recliner to do it. You know, my grandma actually owns one of these things. I guess that ain't bad, that ain't bad at all, but... She doesn't ever have it plugged in. So it doesn't recline back. Now I do not recall if this guy has a dark type move or not. I'd assume it just has pound. I could probably see the door. Yeah, um, it's either just like bad at Whoa, guys, look at this. An interesting thing. I can't believe it. Robots. Real video game robots. And all they care about is becoming blind. Wow. Such deep, inspirational motives. It's such a profound thing that happens. Alrighty.
So, here's the story part. Did I get healed? No. I'm pretty sure if I run up to hop, I'll, I'll get a heal. They'll, they'll ask me, hey, do you want to go fight a person that does a thing? Technically? And I'll be like, yes or no? Which one? I can pick my option. I don't know how much better that this will be, but I'm curious to see if randomize is better than like pre-picked out encounter tables. Cause it adds a ton of variety, but like there's a solid chance you just find a duosion that's level one. Or you find the Elusive level 7 Tyranitar. <laughs> I think I. Yeah, I ended this fight. This guy had two other Pokemon, I remember. Yeah, this is just a whoopsie on my end. This guy's up way easier. Throwing meow. Ooh. Can the can the two cats successfully beat each other into submission? A fight for the ages, folks. So first we clap the cat, and then we start scratching its freaking eyes out. If I get if I get some footage of my Cool cats like fighting. Put that up. You know, I expected this fight to be harder. It's only he has like a. What's it? Because I picked a water starter. He have a Pichu and a Spiro. Yeah. Yeah, so I actually made it easier than the base game. It's near impossible to do that for Pokemon Sun and Moon. Which is it which is a joke, but it's very serious. Um, right, here's the text that the game wants you to read, but I am very busy right now doing absolutely jack all. So, I think after I'm fully finished with dialogue, I'm gonna end it here. Though this video is definitely gonna get cut down to like a total of seven minutes. I wonder what I'll have for the end card. Alrighty. I think I'll trigger one more hyper speed.